All right, this video is on the Hummingbird Calibri. It's the issue about the cocking rod. This rod here is a new one. And this one, uh, it broke, all right? Uh, that's when uh, when you force, you force it close. And uh, sometimes the probe doesn't align all the time and it hits the magazine or you double load it, you wanna force it shut. And usually you break, you break this thread here, that's on this cocking lever here. Uh, when it breaks, when it breaks, right, uh, you can cock it like this, but it will not shut <clears throat> the probe close. So when you're trying to shoot it, uh, this uh, pin for the hammer will hit this lever. And it won't uh, open a valve, the valve stem. And you'll hear a little click, all right? And you notice the, the probe doesn't go in and out, only all the way back, but the, the handle doesn't want to close this shut. So here's a new, new rod. All right. We'll thread it in. Now, now you can shut it and open it. All right, to minimize breakage, you know, if it doesn't close smoothly, check your alignment. Don't force it. All right, it's kind of hard and steel, and they snap. So I got one. It's not really tempered or flex before. I mean, it flex more, but would have been snap because now it's not as brittle. All right, when you put this back. You have to rotate the rotate this till it's fully threaded, and this end fully threaded to the cocking uh, block. And to properly align this, when you shut it, right, it's fully this probe is fully forward because sometimes you don't thread it right, the block cocking block will bottom out before the probe is fully seated on the o-ring all right so you gotta cycle it and make sure you know the probe is all the way all the way, all the way forward and sealing and there's a locking pin here you hear a snap like that i mean that's the safety blowback pin all right you don't want and you don't want it too short and you'll force this shut um, more forward than usual, you will have tension on its raw thread because this cocking block is not bottomed out. So it's kind of free floating and you're forcing it shut. So you want to thread it just right when the cocking block bottoms out to its uh, stop, then this is fully aligned properly, your probe. So it doesn't minimize t uh, torque on this and breaking the thread again. All right, so it's pretty common. I've seen too many of them break. And this rod is pretty easy to make. I believe this end is an M3, this size is an M4. All right, this uh, measured the original one and thread both ends. Very easy to replace. All right, we'll catch you next video.